الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى علي وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم mentioning about having one's good deeds and this is something that we really need to focus on because we need of course our deeds to be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we need to have as many good deeds as possible and we need to have the hope that uh, the hope for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy and his favor that he'll accept whatever good that we do and forgive all of the evil that we do may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ikhlas with abad and forgive us of all, all our sins I mean ya rabbil alameen Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitab al-kareem In Surah Al-Asr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says After a'udhu billah min shaytan al-rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Wal asr inna l-insayna la fi khusr Illa al-ladhina amanu Wa amanu salihat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, By the time, he swears by the time He says, verily mankind is in a loss إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Except for those who believe. So of course we have to have Iman, we have to be from Ahl Iman, we have to have knowledge of how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعْمَلُوا صَالِحَاتِ And then do righteous deeds. So that shows us the importance Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exalts and raises His servants in accordance with their deeds, in accordance with doing righteous deeds. And those righteous deeds have to be built upon ikhlas lillah, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, how he sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam uh, did righteous deeds. That's what defines righteous deeds for us in Islam. So it's imperative of Allah that we always strive our best to do righteous good deeds and have good conduct. Do that which is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not necessarily pleasing to the people. And what affirms for us the importance of Striving to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through good deeds and righteous conduct, good manners, and we always need this reminder, is the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in which he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَا مِن شَيْءٍ أَتْكُلُ فِي مَيْزَانَ مُؤْمِنْ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَ مِنْ حُسْنُ خُلْقِ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبْغِذُ الْفَهِشَ الْبَذِي the Prophet ﷺ said, There isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scale of the believer than good manners. And verily Allah hates wicked and uh, sinful speech. So there, Ahabatifila, we see the importance of having good manners and good conduct. And that's a part of our, uh, you know, good moral characters the, is the... Uh, is one of the characteristics of the, uh, the mu'min. And that there isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of the believer on the day of judgment than good conduct. So that means that how we relate to people and how in your relationship with your Lord is a part of that good conduct. You know, are you worshiping him as he should be worshiped? Are you committing shirk with him? Are you innovating in his religion? And so all of this is even in a more comprehensive view of uh, a more comprehensive uh, outlook or or view or understanding of what it means to have good conduct because it's also inclusive of conduct with your lord adab marabbik so we ask Allah the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ikhlas with the bat wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad